All right, all right, let's get out of the way. We told you so. That's what a whole bunch of you guys will be saying right now, shouting into the screen. We told you so. The day before is vapeware. It's not going to ever come out. This game is just not a real game. And it's hard to argue against that with the latest announcement, with a huge delay, not just a few weeks, not a few months, but a whole year as they switch engines. Let's discuss what's gone on with the day before and why it may be some days before we actually ever see a release date for this. It's absolutely mind boggling that they have got not a single community team or someone at the company to do an official statement themselves, instead giving it up to IGN to do the job and then listing that announcement on their Steam page. It's already been changed, it's not going to be coming out now to March the 1st, 2023. If you don't know, of course, what the day before is, it's meant to be the next DayZ killer. A blend between the Division and DayZ, running around the city, shooting zombies as well as other players, and then retreating to the safety or relative safety of outposts out in the country. It's meant to have vehicles, cars, you name it, all sorts of guns, weapons, a huge open world survival MMO. It got announced a couple years ago out of almost nowhere, and even then there were some worrying signs given the actual developer's history. And I've covered all of that in length in the past. But let's cover this first before we recap even more. Day 4 is obviously Steam's most wishlisted game, and apparently because they're switching to Unreal Engine 5, that's the big delay of a whole year? This is absolute bullshit people. It does not or I don't think it should take a whole year just to transport a game from one engine to another. And I've got some reasonings why based on what other developers are doing which I'm going to show you guys. The statement says millions of people have added the day before to their wish list, making the day before one of the most anticipated games in the world. Feeling and understanding the great responsibility that we face with enormous gratitude in our hearts, we're pleased to announce that the day before switching to the new Unreal Engine 5 technology. The transition to a more advanced and adopted open worlds engine will make the gameplay of the day before even more fantastic. Now there have been rumours circulating for a couple months now. The publisher behind this game is Mytona. They worked on mobile games previously, successful ones, and they're based in Singapore. Now Fantastic, the developers, they've been working obviously on Prop Hunt the last few months. Now they were originally based in a Russian region, and of course with all the situation that's going on with Russia, it'd be quick and easy to blame it on that. Maybe that's the real reason they're delaying, because maybe constraints about getting certain technology into Russia, or just simply not being able to operate or sell, or maybe they're even under kind of constraints due to embargoes put on Russia. But from what I can tell and looking into it a little bit more, the devs maybe foresaw this and they actually moved their arm of their developers over to Singapore, which makes sense given the publisher is based there. So all that would be more of a valid reason. And like I said, that's a bit of hearsay, but yeah, that's apparently what's happened. They have actually moved to Singapore a while ago and that's where the majority of the development of the day before is taking place. So why is this a problem? Why can I be so forgiving literally only 12 hours ago of something like Sons of the Forest getting a delay? Literally telling people to chill. You've not lost anything. You've not lost any pre-orders. Well, there's huge differences. Sons of the Forest is going to be the sequel to one of the best highly rated survival games ever. Millions of people bought the first one, were happy with it. It comes as a respected product. The devs haven't sold it anywhere. There is no pre-order options anywhere to buy Sons of the Forest. So you're not losing anything. The day before, however, they don't have that kind of credit in the bank. Their current game that some people are working for, which is like a basic rip-off of so many others, is sitting at a mixed rating just about. It's nearly positive. The Wild 8 game, they abandoned development shortly after really starting it. In the end, they sold the game to another publisher, Hype Train Digital, and they ended up having to find more developers to finish the job, as well as get the game ported over to PlayStation and other platforms. They've had one noble success in a small, tiny little indie game, that was back in 2018 and they've now removed their tags from a couple of other prototype early access games where you're basically going through building shooting zombies so it was always a bit dodgy a team with literally no real kind of decent history behind them promising the earth and the moon in this type of gameplay that looks too good to be true and we all know that as good as this looks it could certainly have been a hell of a lot of script there and a lot of energy and time put into a playable demo with literally nothing else behind it. Again, that might sound a little bit too harsh, but in the climate we're in nowadays, 
You've got to expect that and they should absolutely expect some criticism. Only letting us know of their plans to ditch their engine and work on a new one literally a few weeks before its release. It's not like the Unreal Engine 5 has only just popped up. It's been in the works for nearly 18 months now. Admittedly, Unreal did release it fully for everyone a few weeks ago, but there have been other developers that have been part of the access program to it and they've been seemingly fine in getting everything ready. Sky is a survival game set on the Scottish island. Again, this was started out as a Unreal Engine 4 product, I do believe, and they've recently just transported all of their files, 20,000 of them or so, over to their Unreal Engine 5. In fact, they were waiting until the Unreal Engine 5 got released almost publicly so that they could then go ahead and go ahead and transport it over. But it hasn't taken them long at all. Now again, the game is maybe in very early development, but I can't see why it's going to take nearly a year for the day before to do the same job. Especially if they've got the millions behind them from the publisher. I do believe the game's got a relatively big amount of developers with extra help from my toner in playtesting the game as well. So why can a couple of indie games manage to do this relatively quick and easy, but a big huge publisher with a experienced games developer struggle? Derelix is another game that started life on with Unreal Engine 4, and they are also in the process of getting it over to Unreal Engine 5. This game is literally made by one person, and they're still managing seemingly to get the engine ports over much, much quicker. And of course, don't forget that the day before was meant to be coming to current gen consoles, or at least PlayStation 5 and Xbox One Series X and S. Pretty sure they also said older gen consoles too. And from what I can gather, a lot of the older gen consoles will struggle supporting games like anything that's made with the Unreal Engine 5. That's why Arc 2 isn't coming to older gen consoles, it's only PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S exclusive at least for a while. And so on top of all that, the day before I have been overdoing it maybe sometimes with the hype, having big announcements or events, countdowns and more, and all we got was maybe like a five second clip or some scenery from a scene. Now that more trailers have appeared, and again it still does look all fantastic and good, they've had some fancy little partnerships with graphics card makers, showing off RTX on and off. No doubt about it, it looks like a pretty game. I wanna believe I do, call me Mulder. But I just have got a bad vibe about this game. I hope I'm massively wrong. I hope it comes out next March and it revolutionizes what we want from an open world survival MMO. But everything they've done so far just doesn't fill me with confidence. They've got some flashy trailers for sure. They've got some great moments here. And if they can deliver on that, then the wait will certainly be worth it. But yeah, I would not really buy into too much more hype about this game until we start seeing some real concrete playthroughs, some actual proper discussions about it, and some actual more stuff going on with the devs who pretty much ignored the community for the last three months. Give me your opinions on the day before, and as ever, I'll be back with more survival news soon. Bye-bye.